A long time ago, I had a picture in my head. I was living in a small town in Cape Cod, and I, had, I was wondering how much the woman who kept, in, kept charge of the post office, how much she knew about us, and how, what, did she, what did she hide, and what did she keep. And into my head came the image of a woman in a post office looking at a letter and slipping it into her pocket. The Postmistress is about uh, a, three women whose lives come together um, in the fate of a letter and one of the women, Frankie Bard, is a journalist who's reporting from the Blitz in London and the other two women are in a small town in Cape Cod. Frankie Bard is an intrepid uh, young woman who talks her way over to Europe because she just wants to be where the action was and talks her way onto Edward R. Murrow's or into his studio. It's 1940, um, before we, the United States, has entered the war, but the war has been going on for two years in Europe. And Frankie Bard asks Ed Murrow to send her into Europe with a disc recorder to take down the stories that are, that are going on because she wants to sort of put the patchwork, put the quilt together and show America that in fact there's something going on. When she comes into uh, possession of this letter that um, she has to decide whether she's going to bring back with her. And so the novel in many ways is about how do we bring the war home. So Emma Trask is the character in the novel who, along with her husband Will, um, are, who are the newlyweds in town, listen to Frankie's broadcasts on uh, the radio and are very aware of the war that's, that's coming that's just over the water. Will um, hears Frankie's voice and eventually goes over to help in the Blitz because Frankie's um, stories and, and her voice reporting what's happening have worked like a siren's call to him. He feels that he has to answer and, and go over and help. Emma and, and Will are um, separated by the ocean and they're brought together only by their letters, um, where they write, which they write daily back and forth. And Iris in the post office is the overseer between their, the letters between them back and forth. And then on the day that the letters stop, Iris has to um, decide what in fact she will do. Both she and Frankie Bard um, are the, the women who have um, stories that they can't tell or that they don't want to tell, even though each in their own way prides themselves on delivering news, getting the story, um, making sure that the truth continues. And so for each woman, um, they have to decide how to bear um, to Emma or, or give to Emma the news that something has happened and what it is.